Well, as I was saying there, uh, before I was interrupted by the Warlike Pukwau -Wow Warrior, uh, Alita P Capri, um, just, just plain evil, as she likes to be known, have been clashing over and over again over the last few months here on Ignition. Uh, JPE putting out Alita Capri with an arm injury uh, not so long ago in the uh, Hibiscus Coast show, and ever since then these two have been going backwards and forwards, uh, just trying to battle and get one up on the other. Well, talking about going backwards and forwards, you see them exchanging locks and holds here right in the center of the ring. My understanding is this is a mixed tag team match where male can take on a female, female can take on a male, female can take a female on, and a male can take on a male. And um, you know what? If you're a hermaphrodite, go for your life, I, I guess. But as I can say, that's what I'm saying. Are you following me today? You're following me, yeah. Yeah, I'm following you, McCracken. and I've seen a few movies that uh, start like this. Um, but, uh, Alita Capri tagging in Les West. Les West not afraid to mix it up with the ladies there. He's uh, coming into battle against JPE. I, I guess you could call her a lady. Um, but yeah, JPE, one of the, uh, the, the larger, more dominant uh, wrestlers in our women's division. She's not afraid to mix it with the boys either. And uh, she's uh, skirting around Les West and showing her that, uh, showing him she's not afraid. Well, apparently she doesn't want a piece of of Les West at all. Sags in the way, Pukato Warrior. I wonder which is longer, Les West here or, or, or the Warrior's massage? Need to get the hair straighteners out and then, and then follow up with a, a, uh, a yardstick or something perhaps. I don't know, we'll talk about that another time. Front face lock by Les West. Oh, straight into the corner, turnbuckle, right hand shots. It stands the warrior right, oh look at this! Spares him! A two count by Les West. You know he is IPW's resident Westie. Clothesline shot right up right now, he's on top of IPW's um, resident Waipokano Wai Warrior. Yes, as, uh, as his shirt says, West is best, according to Les West there, and he's definitely got control of this match right now, just stalking uh, the Waipukua Warrior around, and hoisting him up there with a massive back suplex and just dumping the Waipukua Warrior on his back. Off the ropes, taking a little moment, and a massive elbow drop there from Les West. Just the two count there. Looks like he's going to need to wear down the warrior a little bit more before he can look to pick up the three. It's Les West. He is, he's quite an athlete, you know. He has not been an IPW for too long, but he's started to make waves. He's been sent off the road now, by the way. Pukano Warrior. Oh, double clothesline. Funny about that, Les West, though. I don't know. I guess this wellness policy review is up uh, reasonably soon, we'll, 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 we'll see. Coming for some tests. Uh, wait a second, here comes JP. Now she's in. Now she wants a piece of Les West, yeah? Double arm ringer. Hey, wait a second! Some double team action there from JP and the White Booker Row Warrior. We got a double arm ringer with a bit of a bite and a double chop there. As I said before, JP not afraid to mix it up with the boys. Sends uh, Liz West oh, almost off into the ropes, but just take, takes him down with a chop to the chest. JPE now, look at that, suplexing Les West with ease, bounces off the ropes now, oh, drops the big leg, this could be it, here's the cover. Just a two count, like uh, you, you mentioned just a little bit earlier, but Nate, that, that she is the, the biggest woman on the IPW roster, but she spent a hell of a lot of time in the gym, she is, you, you go back and look at some takes, she has put on a lot of muscle, she has really slimmed down, but she still has that power. She's got a lot more. Uh, she's got a lot more agility now. She's got a lot more going power, a lot more staying power. All working towards her advantage. 
That's right, she's realised that uh, it's not just size that matters, she needs that resiliency that uh, she, to go the full best distance in a match. She's a, as you said, she's been in the gym, she's dropped a bit of weight, she's put on a bit more muscle and she's uh, all the better for it. White Pagora shoots Liz West into the corner. Oh, slips down the back and into the pin. Just two there for Les West. Great crowd and once again on hand here at the Westlake Boys High School. Oh, flying for Arriba by Les West. I'm sure some of you will get that. For those of you that don't, I apologize. Les West now going for the tag. Oh, tags in Elena Caprima on the other side of the ring. Oh, trying to knock the big tree down. Second close line by Elena Capri. Unable to get JP over. But JP catches that time. Tilt a whirl into a backbreaker. Showing some of that form that has led her to be undefeated in singles competition in the women's division. And Elena Capri. A lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, of course, the leg. Well, she's obviously twisted her knee or hit something on the uh, on the way over to the corner to Alita Capri. The ref's attending to it, but uh, oh, oh, it looks like Alita she had a bit of a mishap there. She's, she's fallen down.
Tanga now by the White Pokemon Warrior. Here comes JPE. Big forearm. Right to the side of the head. Oh! Splash right into the corner. Just driving all the wind out of uh, Les West's uh, lungs there. She's taking control of the match and she's uh, looking to put him away, I think. Just, in the, just a slap to the face there, just showing disrespect. Liz West just picking JP up onto his shoulder. What's he got playing here? Oh, she, she's fighting and she slips down his back. Well, I, I don't know what you call that, McCracken. That's uh, a little bit unsavory there from JP. <laughs> Well, why the referee didn't DQ her then, I'll never know. But meanwhile, look at this. JPE's got him up. Oh, reverse DDT. She is out cold. One, two, three. Forget about it.